We are up in the mountains, about 2,000 feet above the highest town in the entire U.S. And yesterday, we spent the day with two experts who taught us how to build a snow shelter. Oh, it's tight. Whoa! I'm still pretty nervous about tomorrow. All right, our training is officially complete. And today, we're going to be attempting to build one all alone and survive the night in it. I don't like this. We've just come out into the middle of nowhere, dug a cave in the snow, Whoa. and we're about to sleep in it. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. This is gonna look very different tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. What are we doing? You gotta be confident in your relationship to plan a date like this. Oh. oh. We weighed this back at the house. 180, almost exactly 40 pounds. That's not so bad. I have no balance with this backpack on. Wow. Three hours later. <laughs> Three hours later. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be a workout. We're doing it. This is actually the same road that we skinned up yesterday, but the 40 pound pack makes a world of difference. Plus we're at 12,000 feet, so it kind of feels like you're breathing through a small straw. The air is thin. We're going somewhere way up there, above what you can see. If this weight keeps up, it's gonna make for a cold day building a snow shelter. Tiny bit of blue sky trying to pick through, but it is a night and day difference between yesterday and today. A little tougher than yesterday. Not gonna lie, but I'm strong. All right, so we've made it up on top of the mountain. The plan is to build our snow cave somewhere in this area. At this point, we're just looking for a wind drift where the wind has piled up the snow and that'll give us a little bit of a head start on our shelter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start by taking out our probes. We'll probe the snow, make sure there aren't any big tree stumps or logs or anything under the snow mound. I'm thinking this area up here looks pretty nice. I'm gonna go test out the depth with our avalanche probe. We're looking for something that's at least 80 centimeters. Oh, it's good to have that off. learned how to use this yesterday. We're at 115 centimeters. I think we've found our deepest spot and this avalanche probe is helpful for depth of snow and in the unlikely event of an avalanche we would also use this probe for a buried skier. All right, I think I found a nice spot where the snow's about 115 centimeters deep, and that'll be home for the night. Wow, that was pretty intense. We're gonna start by stomping out the area where we're gonna be building our shelter to pack all the snow down really good so we've got a nice solid structure to dig out. We gotta get this built fast so we can get out of the wind. Nice work. It's about 1 p.m. Yesterday, it took us two hours to build our snow cave. I'm thinking with just Kara and I, and us not being experts, it's gonna take at least five. Sun sets at six. Hopefully that'll be good timing. I don't know if you can hear me with all this wind, but we're basically just trying to pile up and pack down enough snow that we can start building the snow cave out of it. Ideally, with the base and the angle of the hill, we'll be able to dig out a space that's big enough to stand up in. Our goal is to make a mound that's probably about eight feet tall and about 10 feet wide. The crazy thing is, even with well below freezing temperatures, and probably 30 mile an hour winds, I'm still warm from all the shoveling. You need tissue? Do I? <laughs> I can't feel my face. I can't feel my face <laughs> Hopefully by doing this, it doesn't collapse on our head in the middle of the night. Woo! I'm gonna believe 
look how sheltered they already look. Yeah, making that front wall made such a big difference. Yeah. The next step, create sort of like a tunnel. So Nate's gonna get on top. I'm gonna start here at the front and I'm gonna create kind of like the shape of a door. This is gonna be our entrance. And then Nate will start digging at the top as I dig in. And the goal is to meet in the middle. I'm essentially creating a chimney. And when I can get deep enough, then my snow will start going down out the tunnel. Yesterday, this was the most time consuming step and the hardest. Here you go. <laughs> Don't worry, you can't mess it up. I'm sweating, believe it or not. And we had two experts, so I'm just trying to set my expectations that this is gonna take a while. And it's snowing again. This is going well. We can use this uh, probe to kind of make sure that both the top person and the person that's coming in from the front are digging in the same direction, digging towards each other. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, amazing. We're on the right track. Ah! It's working! Thank you! We made a hole! Hi! We did it! That's Nate! Woohoo! Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm so proud of us. All we have is a hole, but I feel so accomplished right now. Well, what do I do now? Once you see blue, stop scraping, but leave like at least a foot. So now that we've gotten our tunnels to meet, Kara's gonna work on hollowing out the inside of the snow cave, and I'm gonna attempt to build some blocks to lay on top to cover the hole that we made. It involves putting back on my skis, packing down the snow, and then using our snow saw to cut some blocks. How's it going? I wouldn't consider myself claustrophobic usually, but I don't like this. I just feel like at any moment it could all come crashing down. All right, I'm shutting you in. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> it's a start. All right, incoming. Huh? <sighs> Woo! We're a little over two hours in the building. I need some food and caffeine. Calories and caffeine. I'm not even sure this could be considered food, but it's quick and easy. We brought a stove and like a hot lunch to cook because we thought that would be nice, but we definitely don't have time for that. Sunshine! Beautiful! Almost took you out. How's it going? We're doing pretty good. It's almost eight feet wide. I think it's almost finished. Now I just have to get it nice and flat because we're gonna leave it for an hour or so. Let the ground harden up and then that's what we'll sleep on. So if I leave a big hump in it, that's what I'm gonna be sleeping on tonight. Real quick, we wanna say a big thank you to Dropbox for sponsoring this video. We collaborate with a lot of different people to bring these videos to life every week. And as you can probably imagine, working remotely with huge files with people on all different time zones can be a massive headache. Which is why we're super excited that Dropbox has launched their Essentials Plan. It's an all-in-one platform that gives you up to three terabytes of storage, 100 gigs of file transfer, video recording and editing capabilities, unlimited e-signatures, and more for just $18 per month. Being able to send and receive content feedback from our editors and store our video files all on the same platform has been a game changer. The replay product included in the Essentials Plan makes the review process faster when collaborating with our editors remotely. We can upload brand integrations like this one to replay, and then it's super easy for us to leave our editors feedback or questions directly on the video frame by frame. Also, the send and track feature makes it easy to securely share files. When we send our proposals to brands, the analytic dashboard lets us see once they've opened a file and how long they're viewing it to keep track of the process. If you're tired of using multiple apps and services to run your business, you should definitely check out Dropbox Essentials. You can click the link in the description to learn more. All right. I think the inside is finished. If I'm being honest, it's not quite as tall as I hoped it would be, but definitely enough room for us to sleep in there. I'm gonna just leave it alone for a little while and let everything harden up. That way it doesn't cave in on us tonight. And now I'm gonna spend a little bit of time building a hangout area with a kitchen and a bench. I think I've been shoveling for three hours straight. 
Look at that view. Oh my goodness. After all the crazy weather today, we're just getting a sunset over the most beautiful mountain range you've ever seen. One of those mountains out there is Mount Elbert, which is the tallest mountain in all of Colorado. Two years ago, in January, we climbed to the very top of that mountain. We are the tallest people in the continental US with our feet on the ground. And I think this is harder. So fun. Oh, I think the glove is frozen. Listen, they're frozen from where they got wet digging out inside of the igloo. That's crazy, this has never froze before. We are officially moving in. You really tidied up down here. What have you done? Home sweet home. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, it's steamy. Yeah. I think that's a good sign if it's steamed up in here. Yeah. It means it's warmer in here than outside. It's much warmer. Oh. Wow. Much warmer. What do you think? <sighs> I love it. I love being out of the wind. We have so much space to spread out. That's this is epic. Generous. It's the best part of the day. <laughs> Our first meal. Dinner time. Our first hot meal of the day. And I am clearly very excited. However, I don't know how to use this. Can you show me? Yeah. Nate's made me a beautiful little kitchen. I have this nice table area. Nate grew up backpacking and doing all this stuff and he knows everything and I do not. Here's the propane, do we have a lighter? Did you bring it? No. Just kidding. Nate! <laughs> it's in there. Oh, I've got one in my pocket too. Sweet, double lighters. I brought another propane tank too, just in case. Hey-o. Hey-o. Hey and then, I yeah, just take snow and put it in. Are you serious? Yeah. What? Awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm cooking with snow. One pro of camping in the snow is you don't <laughs> have to carry a bunch of water. I wonder how long that's going to take to melt. On the menu tonight is one of my personal favorites, stovetop stuffing. And drum roll, please. Instant mashed potatoes. Happy Valentine's Day, baby! Okay, while Kara's cooking and before it gets dark, I'll give you a full tour of the shelter that we spent all day building. Pretty simple, really three key components. Over here we have our kitchen, this is our bench. That's the sleeping pad that I'll use later tonight, but for now it's gonna insulate our butts from the snow. And hopefully this is starting to harden up nicely. Wow, it's really hard to give you any perspective. Oh my gosh, Kara. You see the yellow line right there? At the back of our shelter? Kara. What? Did you pee behind the shelter? Yeah. No. Did it seep through? No way. There's a big yellow line. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so the ground's still pretty soft inside, so I'm not gonna crawl around in there and mess up our flat surface. But we move the sleeping bags and pads in there, you'll get to see the sleeping situation. For now, we're gonna eat and enjoy this incredible sunset. This has been like a two hour long sunset. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. All these extra layers and stuff that I brought that I almost left because my backpack was so big. I'm now so grateful that I have them. Tell me about it. Oh, this is gonna be a game changer. <laughs> Double puffy. Just heating up the canned wine a little bit. We decided since it was Valentine's Day, it's uh, bubbly rosé in a can. <laughs> oh, Cheers. Doing crazy things with me. Anytime. Warm wine is weird. It's better like than it. cold wine, though. All right, time to make a gourmet meal. Hopefully, there aren't any uh, wild animals around who like fresh potatoes. Mm, it's perfect. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Nice. I love it. Oh wow. <sighs> Cheers. Bon appetit. I love you. Definitely the most memorable Valentine's Day dinner I've ever had. <laughs> I honestly cannot think of another. Can we talk about how good the weather is right now? Um, I'm pretty cold, but you're right, it could be worse. It was a blizzard earlier mm -hmm. today. The wind's died down, it's not snowing. This is amazing. No, this is actually amazing. I just realized something. In our last video, we slept underwater. <laughs> and in this video, technically, we're also sleeping underwater. Yeah. 
That was a lot warmer. Than <laughs> Just with no fish <laughs> or a real mattress mm. or climate control. Can we get personal for a second? Always. The first video that we posted this year was our 2024 life update video. And in that video, we said basically, after eight years of full-time travel, we're a little tired and we need to take some time off. And we were scared of how that was gonna go or how it was gonna come across. We have an amazing life. We get to do cool stuff like this and call it our job. And I was really nervous to hit publish on that video, but all of the comments were so nice and supportive. So I just wanted to say thank you. We're super grateful for your understanding. We had an amazing break. Obviously we're both feeling rested or we wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> we slept in the same bed for over 40 nights, which is the longest that we've been in one place in eight years. And we're both feeling ready to go again. Yeah. Thank you for giving us the... <laughs> Are you crying? They're gonna I'm freeze. Trying not to. Don't do it. Thank you for giving us the time and space that we needed and all the encouraging and loving messages. Oh, I didn't realize this was gonna make you so emotional. I think I'm just cold. <laughs> <laughs> and tired. And I am just so happy that I'm able to do this and actually enjoy it. Your tears are literally gonna freeze your face. I know. I think we both did have this fear in the back of our minds that after we took this break, we would still feel just as tired and not ready to come back. So the fact that we're out here and we wanna be out here doing this, feels good. At least one of us wants to be out here doing this. The other one tolerates it. I'm happy to be here. Now for the cold part. Now for the cold part. Fogging it up in here. If I'm being honest, that picture is laying like this, but I think this is going to work better. This is awesome. Yeah. It's way better in here at night. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All good, I'm ready for it now. Nice. It's kind of annoying getting stuff in and out of here because we made the hole at the entrance really small, so that way no wind would get inside or minimal wind will get inside. It's frozen again. Well, it's as uncomfortable watching it as it is being in here. A shovel? Yeah, just in case it collapses tonight. <laughs> it's terrifying. Man, this place is cozy. I couldn't have my gloves off outside for more than 60 seconds without my fingers freezing. And weirdly enough, even though I'm completely surrounded by snow, it feels way warmer in here than it does out there. Let's say we ended up with like an eight foot by eight foot snow shelter that's maybe average three feet tall, but if I really want to stand on my knees, I can go out the little sunroof that I built. All right. This is the sleeping bag that took up half of my backpack. I think I'm going to be very grateful for it tonight. Wow, this is great. Negative. 15 Fahrenheit. So I've just been wearing our ski boots all day, which keeps you surprisingly warm, but I'm very excited to uh, put on these down booties that we brought. Ski boots are also heated. All right, here I come. All right, come on. <laughs> hey. Whoa. How good is this? Epic. It is so much warmer in here. It's crazy. It's not even funny. I think we may survive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 645. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> we started cardio at 10.45 Woo! and have not stopped. Wardrobe change. I'm taking off all of my cold, wet, soggy clothes and I'm putting on insulating down layers before I get in my cozy sleeping bag to hopefully stay as warm as possible tonight. I'm still very cold currently, but I'm warmer than I thought I would be at this point, if that makes sense. I appreciate you trying to be positive. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Kara and I were having the discussion earlier that like most things that we do that seem extreme are actually designed to be safe. Like, like bungee jumping. You know, like it's scary, but like you're not supposed to die. We've just come out into the middle of nowhere, dug a cave in the snow, and we're about to sleep in it. Can I ask you a question I'm scared to ask? Yes. Out of 10, <laughs> how confident are you? Don't that... ask it. Okay, never mind. Just turn your avalanche beacon on. All right, full battery. Crazy. I know that there are gonna be people out there who say that we should just be sleeping in like thermals because the sleeping bag will do all the work to keep our body heat in. But the thing that you need to understand is that we're basically sleeping directly on the snow. We have a tiny pad, so the more insulated layers that we can have on our body, that provides more insulation between us and the ground, and the ground is what's gonna suck the heat out of us tonight. So we're bundling up in everything we have. Also, it is so much more livable in here than I anticipated, especially at night. Having the lantern 
reflecting off all the white snow. This is like way better than any tent I've ever stayed in. This is pretty sweet. This is the best sleeping bag I've ever experienced. It is so thick. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Light me up when the sun comes up. This is the only pair of ski socks that I have and Carrie taught us yesterday. If you're actively drying them, you would put them not directly on your skin, but somewhere in here where it's nice and warm. The low is one. What? So the low tonight in Leadville, which is 2,000 feet below us, is one degree. For each thousand feet that you go up, you basically subtract three degrees. So I figure the low tonight outside of our snow shelter is negative five. That's insane. Currently, I'm way warmer than I thought it would be. Game changer. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. That is hot, boiled <laughs> snow water. Ready for this? You've been keeping it warm next to your body. I love you. We had wine, we had roses, and to complete Valentine's Day, we're having chocolate. Pretty good Valentine's Day. Oh, you are good. This is the happiest I've seen Kara all day. This is pretty awesome. I feel like this is the moment after all the hard work. Just eating chocolate in my warm cozy, ice shelter, very satisfying. <laughs> we have been together for, 2008 would have been our first Valentine's Day. 16? 16 Valentine's Days. 16. Yeah. And this is the one I will remember the most. Love you. Love you. Okay, we'll see you in the morning, or unless something interesting happens in the middle of the night. Fingers Hopefully crossed not. for in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have eight and a half hours until the sun comes up. I'm actually hungry. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. We worked hard today. Love you. Love you. See you in the morning. As soon as I got my sleeping bag last night, put my arms down in it, I realized if this snow falls on top of me, I'm just not gonna be able to move. Like, I'm just gonna lay here and suffocate. Are you alive over there? <laughs> what? What? Oh, you feel warm down in there. How'd you sleep? One through 10. Like a five. Okay. It's not bad. I'm gonna make some coffee. Wow, what a morning. Check out those colors and these mountains that we could barely see last night. They're completely clear. The backpacks that I left outside are completely frozen. This is the little cupboard that I dug out last night. Being honest, it smells a little bit like stuffing and mashed potatoes. I think our coffee's gonna taste pretty funny this morning. All right, so for breakfast this morning, we've got oatmeal for Kara, pancake and a cup for me, but most importantly, out of focus coffee. I think the camera's frozen. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens at altitude. I'm glad that wasn't beside my face. One heaping teaspoon of coffee. A little bit more since we slept in a snow cave. That's probably like five coffees in one spoonful. Oh, that's gonna be good. All right. Ready for some coffee? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Ooh, it's steaming in here. It's just the best instant coffee I've ever had. <laughs> How about last night? Well, I woke up probably around 1.30 right here on the snow. Her head was literally like right beside mine. Like completely off of my sleeping pad. Uh oh. It's all this warm coffee in here. It's getting steamy. All right, I'm gonna go back out and cook my pancake. Okay. I cannot believe we made it through the night. The 
says, stir in water. And try not to overfill it so I don't have pancake soup. Oh, it smells like cake batter. Oh wow, that smells so good. Oh, and it's got some chocolate chips in it. Well, it says you're supposed to microwave it for a minute. <laughs> Forgot to build one of those. Without the microwave, it's basically just like eating pancake batter, which is not bad. It's warm and it's sweet. It's the perfect thing to balance out a black coffee. Man, life is good. Whoa. It's almost worth it. <laughs> Almost. All right, camp's all packed up. There's one more thing I really want to do as I was laying there last night thinking about whether or not this was going to collapse on my head. I was curious how easy it would be to push in if there was some extra weight added on top. Wow, really hardened up. This front part felt like the thinnest. <gasps> Okay, I don't think there was any risk of this collapsing. Woohoo! Uh, uh. You! No problem. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm so proud of us. Way to go. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing crazy things with me. As long as you keep bringing me coffee in bed. All right, I doubt this is gonna look cool with a 45 pound backpack, but I'll do my best. You ready? Let's do it. Down we go. Oh wow, this is great. Beautiful. Quite a fun couple of days. Good to be back. Thanks for having us. See you next week in a similar setting, but a much more comfortable home. We're getting back together with the Earth Rover guys. Also, we are super grateful to Carrie and Justin for taking their day and teaching us how to do this. They both work or worked at the High Mountain Institute. It's pretty cool if anybody wants to get involved. If you're younger and watching this video, it's definitely something that I wish I could have done when I was in high school. I cannot imagine how excited you would be as a 16 year old. <laughs> Literally would have been my dream. So fun. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, Justin and Carrie are really cool people. We're really glad we got this opportunity with them. I cannot fathom the joy that 16 year old <laughs> Nate would have had out here learning this stuff. It really is a cool thing that they're doing, so definitely check it out if you're interested or want to support it. I hope we can make them proud tomorrow. <laughs>